That's the logic of my brain. And today I'm here with a pretty big unhaul video. I recently got another shelf and my mom's speculation for allowing me to have another shelf was that I had to go through every single one and get rid of books that I'm just like not interested in or it's been on my shelf for like ever and I'm probably not gonna pick it up. So I now own six shelves. I've gone through three of them. This is the result. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book I have is called Descent Renegades by RJ Furness. I won this off of Goodreads and it came with a short story. I read the short story and I didn't really enjoy the writing. So I don't really have an interest of reading an entire novel if I didn't like the short story. So it's going to the thrift store. The next book I have is actually the second in a series and I don't own the first one so I don't really want to go looking for it. It is Autumn All the Cats Return an Inspector Seabag Mystery. This is by Philip Georgette and like I said it's the second in a series and I don't really have an interest in trying to find the first so. I'm pretty sure I won this off of Goodreads as well so I don't really need to read it because I don't feel obligated to since I didn't purchase it because that's the way my mind works. If I bought a book I have to read it because I spent money on it but this was free so. The next couple of books are all part of the same series but I think I've grown out of this genre. Like it's not YA but it's not middle grade. It's like the in-between section. I don't know what it's called but like I swear there's like an in-between thing. But it is the A-list series by Zoe Dean. I have almost all of the books. I think I'm missing like the third but then I have like one to nine minus the third. But it's the A-list, Girls on Film, Back in Black, Some Like It Hot, which is a mess, American Beauty, Heart of Glass, which is also a mess, Beautiful Stranger, and California Dreaming. And like I said, I just don't think I'm ever going to actually read these. And I feel like if I did try to read them, I probably wouldn't enjoy them. So, might as well get rid of them. The next two books are also a part of the same series, but I've had them on my shelves forever. I bought them because my mom loves this author, loves this series, but I feel like I'm just never going to read them, so might as well get them off my shelf. They are One for the Money and Two for the Dough by Janet Ivanovich, and they're also just like a really weird height and just books these heights, the like trade paperbacks, piss me off because they don't go on the shelf nicely, and I just, I just can't deal with it because they're just so uneven and it drives me insane, so off to the thrift store. The next book I bought because I think it was like a buy four get one free kind of thing and I recognize the title from the movie and it's On the Road by Jack Kerouac but I'm never gonna read it. I didn't really like the movie so I don't know why I bought the book but Logic of JN, once again, it doesn't make sense. The next book I bought solely because it was so big and I was like, I'm gonna get to that just so I can feel accomplished for finishing such a big book, but it's been on my shelf for over three years, so clearly it's not happening. But it is The Decision by Penny Vincenzi, and I always see Penny Vincenzi's books at the thrift store all the time. The next book I have is Broken For You by Stephanie Callas, and I read the back of the synopsis and I was just like, meh. I don't really care, so there's no point having it on my shelf because I'm probably not going to pick it up, so off it goes. The next book I have is The Rome Affair by Karen Swan. I won this off of Goodreads. It's a romance novel. I don't really read romance, so probably never going to pick it up, so off to the thrift store it goes. The next book I have is also a genre I just don't read, and it is Elizabeth Hay, His Whole Life. It's like a historical fiction kind of thing. It's set in Canada, so I mean, that's cool. It ain't for me, so doesn't need to be on my shelf. The next book, I read the back of the synopsis, not really interested. It is Before I Wake by Robert J. Wisserma, and it's like about this woman whose kid gets hit by a car, and then they're in a coma, and it's like a tragedy thing. I just, I don't, I'm not interested, so. And apparently it's like heavily Christian based. Your girl ain't religious in any way, so I just, nah, nah, you know, just nah. The next book is like the eighth in the series, so like why I bought it, I don't know. I think I thought the cover was cool, but it's Truancy City by Isamu Fuki. And like I said, like, I think I just liked the cover at the time. The girl doesn't have time to go buy the first seven books in the series, so. 
goodbye. The next book is also like the eighth in the series, so again, I don't have time for this. It's Crime School by Carol O'Connell. I think I bought it thinking that it was a standalone. It's not, so goodbye. The next book I have is another romance book. Your girl don't like her romances very much, so uh, Emile Richards. Iron Lace. It's not a stabby stabby murder murder book so. The next book I have I'm pretty sure I won off of Goodreads and it's like nothing that I would ever read so I don't know why I kept it on my shelf this long but it is The Revolution of the Moon by Andrea Camilleri. But it's like the true story of some king or queen or some shit that I don't care about so. The next book is the second in the series I think and I'm I don't care to go find the rest of it so. Eh. called Cross by Ken Bruin and I'm pretty sure this was another one that was like heavily Christian based and not about it. The next two books are part of the same series but I again just think that I'm too old for this target audience so I'm not even gonna waste my time with it because I know I'm not gonna like it but it's Beach Blondes and Tan Lines by Katherine Applegate and I'm pretty sure that this is like one to three and this is like five to seven so like I'm missing book four anyways so like ugh. the next book I have is Exudos by Julie Bertagna and I read the back of the book doesn't seem that intriguing to me anymore so we getting rid of it it's something about like the earth being underwater and then this girl comes and she has to like save the world but ugh. there's so many books like that and I just don't care. The next book I have is a historical fiction which I don't really read that genre very much so getting rid of it. I think I kept it on my shelf because the main character's name is Jay. I'm Jay so like hey! But it's Before the Rains by Dinah Jeffries and like I said I don't read this genre so it's just gonna sit there and collect dust and I have way too many books for that to happen. Alright guys so that was the first unhaul for two of my six shelves so we gotta go through the rest and I'm sure you'll see another unhaul video very shortly. Let me know down below if you guys read any of these and what you thought of them and I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!